let us apply the rule of differentiation under integral sign to evaluate 0 to infinity e to the power ax sin x by x dx and then deduce that 0 to infinity sin x by x dx equal to pi by 2. We start by taking ia equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax sin x by x dx. Now remember now Observe that e to the power minus ax sin x by x dx, if you integrate and then put the value of x equal to 0 and x equal to infinity in this expression, you will not be having any expression involving x, but you will be having expression involving a only. So, that is why we take i a equal to this. Now, let us differentiate both sides with respect to a. D -d derivative of i a Now, this as we said earlier, this function is just a function of a, so we will differentiate only with respect to a d d a of e to the power minus a x. So, when we are differentiating was only with respect to a we will regard other quantity as constant. So, sin x by x, we will regard it to be a constant. Just regard sin x by x to be a constant. In fact, just regard x to be a constant. So, we are differentiating with respect to a. Let us do some rough work. d d a of e to the power minus a x. Here we are regarding, we are differentiating, here we are differentiating with respect to a, so we regard x to be a constant. So, d dx of e to the power x is e to the power x, but we are doing with respect to a, so d dA of e to the power minus a x, e to the power minus a x, but we need to differentiate a x with respect to a, d dA of minus a x, and that is equal to e to the power minus a x into derivative a with respect to a is 1, but minus x being constant, we will write as it is. So, this derivative is equal to e to the power minus a x into minus x. Sin x by x as it is. Wow, we are lucky enough that we can cancel that x out. So, let us cancel x out and let us take minus outside the integral. So, this is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus a x minus we take it out of the integration minus a x into sin of 1 x. Let us write it as sin of 1 x. The reason we wrote 1 x, it will be clear in a moment, d x as it is. Now, we know the formula integral of e to the power a x into sin b x d x equal to e to the power a x by a square plus b square minus b cos b x plus a sin b x of course, plus some constant of integration. Here, we can take a equal to minus a and b equal to 1. So, I told you earlier, we are writing 1 into x just to take b equal to 1. So, what we have is that d d a d d a of i a equal to minus as it is. The integral can simply be computed with this formula e to the power minus sorry e to the power a x, but a is minus a. So, e to the power minus a x divided by a square plus b square a is minus a b is 1. b is 1, b is 1, a is minus a, a 
b is 1. b is 1, a is minus a. So, after differentiating dA, we got this expression. Of course, we, we, we have integrated. We don't have to write constant indefinite integral, but we need to write the limit. Limit is from 0 to infinity. Now, whenever we have uh, infinity, we should uh, write, write the limit. Limit extends to infinity. Observe that, but e to the power minus ax as x approaches infinity is 0. So, upper, upper limit is 0 minus, but minus is also there. So, plus e to the power 0 is 1 divided minus a square is just a square. 1 square is 1. Then, cos 0 is 1. So, minus 1. Sin 0 is 0. Therefore, differentiation of IA with respect to A is simply equal to minus 1 by A square plus 1. Okay. So, if derivative of something is minus 1 by A square plus 1, what is that something? We just need to integrate it. Take DA to other side and integrate it. That is equal to 10 inverse of a. But as usual, whenever we integrate it, we have some constant of integration. Now, we just need to determine this constant of integration. In order to determine constant of integration, we need to look at the expression of what is ia. If you know one value, when you want to determine constant of integration, if I know the value of ia for some value of a, then we can determine it. Can you compute this integral? Can you compute this integral for some value of a? No, very difficult. It. But what if a is very large, e to the power minus a is very small. In fact, if you take the limit, as a approaches infinity, i a tends to 0. But, but limit a tends to infinity, i a equal to 0. That imply 0 equal to minus of 10 inverse of infinity is pi by 2 plus some constant. That gives us constant equal to pi by 2. Let us put that value of constant in this equation. So, i a equal to minus of 10 inverse of a plus pi by 2. That is pi by 2 minus 10 inverse of a. That is cot inverse of a. So, we have computed the integral to be equal to cot inverse of a. Now, for the second part, we want to integrate it just sin x by x. This quantity, we do not want it. What is the value of a such that we get this quantity not there? Answer is a equal to 0. i 0 is 0 to infinity sin x by x. Let us do it. Therefore, i 0 equal to 0 to infinity sin x by x equal to cot inverse of 0 and that is equal to pi by 2. Therefore, integral 0 to infinity sin x by x equal to pi by 2 and we are done.